Good morning. It's early in the morning. I got up, I feel refreshed, and I noticed that in the morning I feel the most clarity, like I don't have any brain fog. I assume it's because I get enough sleep with the oxygen and the CPAP. And then as the day goes by, I am more and more exhausted. I walk to the mailbox, come back, and I'm so winded, I go lay down and take a nap. Um, most of my day's time that I'm awake is sitting in front of a TV, dozing off, because I don't have the energy to do much of anything else, which has been very awful. December 1st, I have my open heart surgery. They're going to repair, hopefully repair my mitral valve. And I have uh, my aorta is 5.5 millimeters. I think that's what he said. Anyways, it's just way too big. And they're going to have to put a sheath around it or something because if that rips or tears, I'm pretty much instantly dead, which doesn't sound fun at all. No, no, not at all. This, this uh, is frustrating because I hike the Grand Canyon. You know, I go run a mountain over here in Little Rock. I am on hiking meetups and I'm always active. I mean, never in the house. Matter of fact, over the last, this last three years, it really seems like I've really started to slow down. I mean, I know I'm in school and I need more time to study and things like that. But I've really let my health go when I didn't need to. I mean, I could easily study and go for a run. I could easily study and go hiking. I could easily study and do other things. But... I just got to the point that I got really winded a lot and it's just been getting progressively worse and worse. Matter of fact, this last three years, I don't even think that I've been to the mountain but a handful of times. And before that, I was running the darn thing, you know, five, six, seven times a day. Now it's like I barely walked to, to the mailbox and I'm winded. I don't like that at all. So I'm, I've been doing a lot of looking on um, online especially YouTube for people's journeys that have had the mitral valve and just open heart surgery in general. And I've seen a lot of people from extremely young to definitely older. Matter of fact, my dad just had open heart surgery and had a valve replaced and um, bypassed and stuff. And I'm like, you know, I just feel like I'm too young to have it done. However, I'm way too young to be on oxygen. I like right now, if I'm not moving around, I'm okay without oxygen. As soon as I start moving around, that oxygen drops. I got one of those little um, SpO2 things you put on your finger, your, your oxygen sensor. And when I'm standing around, off oxygen, 96, 97, no problem. As soon as I start walking around without the oxygen, man, it drops down to, you know, in the 80s. And then the other day when I went and got a uh, test, they actually went into my, my actual um, artery in my, in my wrist here and pulled out some blood and said, your oxygen's at 72. And that's with me in a wheelchair on oxygen um, and, and not doing a lot of moving around, which seems to be extremely low. So I know that this regurgitation, a severe regurgitation, is pushing back Every time my heart beats, instead of going up and out and throughout my body, half of it's going up throughout my body, half of it's going back into my pulmonary veins, into my lungs, causing me to have that cough and hack and feel like I just can't breathe. At least we know what's going on. And December 1st, they're going to repair it, and I'll be all right. I really hate feeling like there's two me's. There's the six o'clock in the morning me, and there's six o'clock in the afternoon me. And I tell you, the person in the afternoon, I don't know. He's so deprived of oxygen, he, he doesn't know what two plus two is.
Of course he does. But I'm just saying, it's so bad. It's like, it's like a dream state. And like I said, when I wake up in the morning, like right now, I feel clarity. I look at the videos that I did the previous night and I'm like, that's not me. Who is that? So I'll be very glad. Uh, if you're wondering why I'm in the garage, it's because it's early and I don't want to wake up anybody in the family. So I'm out here talking and it's really kind of bad because this is my most clarity. This is my most energetic time and I really can't do anything. Once everybody's up, I'm already exhausted and want to go take a nap. Anyway, how fun. So that's my video for today. That's what's going on with me. Um, today is November 21st and December 1st I have my open heart surgery.